Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're from the Gymnastics too. too. Welcome to TC Tuesday. Today we're going to be doing a types of video. So it's types of cheerleaders at tryouts. Yeah. I totally worded that weird. And we have six cheerleaders. You'll see them in yeah. the video. Also, we have to give credit where credit is due. We didn't come up with all these cheerleaders. We actually found them from an Odyssey online article that'll be linked down below. She says 11 cheerleaders, and we're just kind of combining a couple and making six. So yeah. check it out if you want to see more of them. And let's get started. I need a paper cut. So the very first cheerleader that you're going to see at tryouts are obviously the all-star cheerleader. So when this girl comes into the clinic, everyone's like, yikes, this girl is probably going to make the team. Everyone feels a little bit threatened because with all-star cheer, you have a lot of experience. You usually get to be pretty good. You're super sharp. They have a lot of personality and a lot of facials. They're really great at all the motions and the cheers, and their personality really puts it over the top. A telltale sign of an all-star cheerleader is that they're going to be wearing a nice big bow, some infinities, and probably some sort of all-star cheer shirt. So yeah, it's easy to pick them apart. They have really great tumbling, really great jumps, and they're probably going to make the team, and they know it. Up next, we have the gymnast turn cheerleader. So, in most high schools, gymnastics is no longer a sport. So, most gymnasts are like, hmm, what sport can I do in high school? Um, cheerleading, because cheerleading has tumbling, gymnastics has tumbling. It kind of just like, in our minds, we're like, you know, close enough, we'll just try out for that. And the bright side of being a gymnast turn cheerleader is that you usually have great form, you have really good tumbling, you're usually pretty flex flexible, so you have like the jumps that you need. The one weird thing though is that when you're a gymnast and then you go to cheerleading, everything is pretty different. The straddle jumps become toe touches, there's no split jumps or tuck jumps, it's just like you have to learn how to do a pike, well pikes are I guess in both, but they're still different. Um, and you have to do a bunch of hurdlers. And if you are a gymnast turn cheerleader, the biggest struggle is when you're tumbling. Gymnasts are used to finishing their tumbling, but then when you go to cheer, you have to learn how to clean. So that takes a little bit of getting used to. Also, tumbling with shoes is pretty weird. Now we have the no-show cheerleader. So. This is the girl, she comes to all the prep stuff for the tryouts, she comes to all the clinics, she's there for it all, like before tryouts. She's actually pretty good, not like great, but not bad either. You know, if she like applies herself, then like she can do things pretty well. And you're not really threatened by her, but like if she applies herself, she could probably make the team. And so, you kind of keep her like in the corner of your eye, like not paying too much attention to her, but like she could be a threat, maybe, just depends. And then come tryout day, they are absolutely nowhere to be found. Like, they're just nowhere. And you like look around because you're like, um, they were actually pretty good. Like they probably could have made the team. And so everyone's left wondering where they were. And to be honest, you'll probably never find out why they didn't try out. Next, we have the awkward slash nervous cheerleader. And please hear me out on this one. I am in no way trying to be rude because freshman year I was this person I was this girl I was also the gymnast turn cheerleader because I had good jumps and tumbling but like the cheer and dance could not do so awkward so this is the cheerleader that usually has no idea what they're doing in some cases they may not even want to try out it's just like their mom wants them to do a school sport and they're like try out cheer like make friends you know and they're kind of in that boat they usually don't really have any idea what they're doing. They're usually pretty quiet uh, clinic stuff, so they don't really ask for a lot of help. But if you come and help them out, then they're open to suggestions. They are open to getting better. But like I said, if they are being forced to try out, not all of them are. But if they are, then they may not even be like wanting to improve too much. And so just cut this person some slack. They're just trying to get the hang of things. They've probably never cheered before. One thing this person also lacks is facials because they're so busy focused on what they're doing with their body that they're not worried about their face at all. They show no personality in like smile or like facials obviously and they usually don't spear either so they gotta learn how to do that better.
All right, next we have the veteran cheerleader. This girl is the girl that has done school cheer before. She made the team already. And so she's trying out maybe for a repeat, maybe a three P or a four P. We don't know what year. We don't know what grade she's in. Uh, this girl comes wearing last year's cheer shoes, all of her old like school cheer get up. She lets everyone know she was on the team last year. When she walks into tryouts, she like knows all the coaches. She's like happy to be there. She's not afraid because she already made the team before. The grandma, she pretty much only has to try out as a formality, but the good thing about the school cheerleader is they know how to make the team, so they might help people out. We don't know if this is because they're actually trying to be nice or just because they're trying to be like, yeah, I made the team last year, but we'll try and say they're being nice. Another thing that the school cheerleader is good at is spiriting. Obviously in school cheer, you have to spirit all the time after cheers, out of jumps, out of tumbling, so that's what they got going for them if you have to cheer. At tryouts, you usually have to spear it, so they got that part down. Okay, and the final cheerleader that we're going to be talking about today is the forgetful cheerleader. So, this girl has absolutely no memory whatsoever. Cheer is all about remembering the counts to everything. You have to remember cheers and uh, a dance, usually. She has no idea what comes after the first eight count. And when she asks for help, you'll literally tell her exactly what you need to do. You'll go nice and slow for her. She'll get it down when you walk through it with her. But the second that she has to try it by herself, she makes it through like one motion and then forgets it. Like, come on, girl, we can do this. And the bad thing is that we have to do a cheer and also a dance. So usually she mixes them up or she like can memorize one, but not the other. Or she memorizes like half and half, which is absolutely not helpful at all. She's always raising her hand, asking for questions. She'll always like go to the all-star cheerleaders and the school cheerleaders and like ask for help. And they don't mind helping her out, but girl, can you at least remember something? Like, please try and remember stuff. We hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also comment down below which one you are at tryouts or which ones you've seen at tryouts, if you've had cheer tryouts, obviously. This is not meant to offend anybody. It's just I know. Like, all oh, fun and games. Like, please don't take offense to this. Yes. Just mm -hmm. pretty laugh. sure like we've all been one of these cheerleaders except I mean, the yeah. no show. Like Jim just turned cheerleader. Like I was like, like, like very inexperienced freshman year tryouts. Like yes. had no idea what I was doing. So, so it's all just, fun and games. It's all fun and games. Just laugh. <laughs> if you want to subscribe to our channel, you can either press the red subscribe button down below or you can press our icon over there. If you want to check out some of our really cute merchandise, click the t-shirt button over there. And if you want to watch our last video, just click it right there. And we'll see you on Friday. Bye! Bye.